Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this super easy bucket hat and it's great for the summer so um, stay tuned and keep on watching. For this project you're going to need two skeins of a size 3 um, yarn. I'm using this Acacia yarn by uh, Hobie. And this yarn is actually a a blend of an acrylic and cotton but you can use uh, whichever you prefer so um, this one has uh, 273 yards each skein and I actually um, had these left over uh, from my hat so um, uh, one skein of each will be fine and you also need a 5.5 uh, millimeter crochet hook uh, a stitch marker and some scissors all right so I'm gonna start by combining my two strands of yarn and I'm going to make a magic circle and into that magic circle I'm going to um, chain one So after you chain one, we are going to make 10 half double crochets into that magic circle. So here I have my first half double crochet. And now I'm just going to make the remaining nine half double crochets into my uh, magic circle. So um, continue doing that and I will see you back at the end of this round. So here I have my 10 half double crochets made already and I'm going to pull the string here to close my circle. And I'm going to um, make my first increase in this tenth, the, I mean this first stitch right here. So I'm going to make two half double crochets in that stitch. And we are um, placing a stitch marker here because we are working in continuous rounds, okay? We are not going to be slip stitching at the end of each round. We are um, working in continuous rounds. So this is why you need your stitch marker. So I always place your stitch marker in the first stitch that you make in each round. So here I have my first increase, which is two half double crochets in that same stitch. And now I'm going to make my next increase in this next stitch all right so uh, make two half double crochets in each stitch all the way around and I will see you back all right so we finished our first round and now I'm going to start on the second round so I'm taking off my stitch marker here And in that stitch, I'm going to make one half double crochet. And I'm going to place my stitch marker again in that um, first stitch that I made. Uh, it's really important to not forget to place that stitch marker there because it lets us know um, where our round starts. And in that next stitch, I'm going to make an increase so two half double crochets in that same stitch so our next is going to be one half double crochet and our next stitch is going to be an increase so we uh, are going to continue with that pattern all the way around 
Okay, so now we're going to start on our third round. And as always, I'm going to take my stitch marker off. Okay, so for the third round, we are going to make uh, one half double crochet in the next two stitches. And I'm placing my stitch marker in that first stitch. And then a increase in that next stitch. Okay, so that's going to be our pattern repeat for this stir round. Um, so continue working on that and I will see you at the end of this round. Here I'm going to start my fourth round and for our fourth round we are going to make one half double crochet in the next three stitches. And we are making an increase in that next stitch. All right, so um, that will be our pattern repeat. In our next three stitches, we make one half double crochet. And in the next, you make an increase. So I will see you back at the end of round four. Okay, now we are going to start our fifth round. And for this fifth round, we are going to make one half double crochet in the next four stitches. So here's one. And I'm placing my stitch marker. Two, three, And four. Okay, and then my next stitch is an increase. And that's going to be our pattern repeat. Okay, in the next four stitches, you make one half double crochet and then an increase in the next stitch. So um, continue doing that and I will see you at the end of this round. Okay, so now we are uh, at the end of round five and we're going to start our last uh, round of increases. So this is round six that we're going to start. And for this round, we are going to make one half double crochet in the next five stitches. So here's one, two, I almost forgot to place my stitch marker in that first stitch. Three, four and five. OK, 
okay and then our next stitch we make an increase All right, so that is our pattern repeat. Um, continue doing that all the way around, and I will see you back. Okay, so um, this is a time where we need our tape measure, and we're going to measure the um, circumference of this uh, flat circle that we just made. And this flat circle should measure about six um, and a half inches. Mine's close to six and a half inches, so around there you should be fine. Okay, so once you measure that, we can get started on the next round. All right, so for round seven, uh, we are not going to be doing increases anymore. So um, this whole round, you're only going to be making one half double crochet all the way around. So um, pretty easy round. So you're making one half double crochet in each stitch around and you should have a total of 70 stitches at the end of this round. Okay, so um, continue doing that, making one half double crochet in each stitch and I will see you back. Okay, so now rounds 8 to round 16 um, you are going to repeat um, the previous um, steps. So um, make one half double crochet in each stitch around. Uh, and don't forget to um, place your stitch marker uh, so you don't forget uh, what round you're at and you don't lose your place. So always put that stitch marker in that first stitch that you make in each round. Okay, so uh, rounds 8 to round 16, one half double crochet in each stitch around, and you should have a total of 70 stitches um, every time. So I will see you back when you finish round um, 16. Okay, so now that you've finished round 16, this is how your hat should be looking like. And now we're going to take that stitch marker off and we are going to make a slip stitch in that um, stitch here. Okay, so now we're going to chain three. And this is going to count as a stitch. So then we're going to skip one stitch and make a half double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, then we're going to chain one, skip one stitch, and make one half double crochet in that next stitch. chain one, skip one stitch, and make a half double crochet in the next stitch. And that's going to be uh, our pattern repeat all the way around. All right, so I will see you back when you finish this round. Okay, so now um, to close round 17, uh, you should have one um, stitch left. You should have a chain one and then one stitch left and then we're going to slip stitch in this second um, chain. Okay, 
All right, so that's how it should look like. And now we're going to start uh, round 18. So we're going to chain uh, one, and that does count as a stitch. Then we make one half double crochet in that chain one space. And then one single crochet in that next stitch, one single crochet in that next chain one space. And um, basically that's it um, for the end of this round. Just make one single crochet in each stitch around, including the chain one spaces. All right, so um, I will see you back at the end of the round. Okay, for, for round 19, I'm going to get my stitch marker again. And in this um, chain one from our previous round, we are going to make one half double crochet. Might be a little tight, um, but just get your hook in there. Right, so we're going to place uh, our stitch marker in that stitch. And then we are going to make uh, five half double crochets in the next five stitches. So you should have a total of six um, half double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then that next stitch, we will be making an increase. Okay, and then we make six half, I mean not six, one half double crochet in the next six stitches. All right, and then after you make that, you will make an increase. So that's going to be the pattern repeat for this round. So um, for this round, we start on our increases again, and that's going to make our, um, what's going to make the brim of our hat. So I will see you back when you finish this round. All right, so now we're going to start on round 20. And for this round, you will be making uh, one half double crochet in the next seven stitches. So here's one. And then I place my stitch marker. Two. Three. Four. five, six, and seven. And then we make an increase in that next stitch. Okay, and then we repeat um, the same steps all the way around and I will see you back. Okay, so now for row 21, I am going to make one half double crochet in the next eight stitches.
and then an increase in that next stitch. Repeat that around and I will see you back. So here's how your brim should look like. And now we're going to start on row 22. And uh, for row 22, uh, we are going to make one half double crochet in the next nine stitches. And then we are going to make an increase in that next stitch and that's going to be our repeat for this uh, round so continue with that and I will see you back okay so we are almost done we just need two more rows um, so I'm here on row 23, I'm going to make one half double crochet in the next 10 stitches. and then an increase in that next stitch alright so that's the pattern repeat for this round um, do that all the way around and I will see you back alright so we made it to the last row and for this not row round and for this round we are going to make uh, one half double crochet in the next 11 stitches And then we make an increase in that next stitch. And that will be our pattern repeat for this round. All right, so do that all the way around and I will see you back. Okay, so to um, finish our hat, I'm going to make a slip stitch where my stitch marker is at. So I just make a slip stitch and pull my yarn through and then I'm just going to cut my yarn and weave in my ends.
don't forget to weave in this um, yarn here in the middle of your hat okay so you just do that and you are done uh, and you are ready to wear it so um, thank you guys so much for watching my video uh, I really appreciate it if you liked it give it a thumbs up and I will um, see you guys in my next tutorial thank you guys